What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with that boxing clinic, and this is definitely an early morning grind. Saturday, you know, uh, Sunday morning to be exact. And, um, you know, I'm putting two to two together. I'm not saying this is the most concrete rumor, but I feel very, very, very strongly about this rumor. Um, as I felt very strongly in July about Danny Garcia taking on Rios, which should be announced pretty soon. Um, but I've been wrong before, and I just have a hunch on this one. But Mont Peterson will be taking on Errol Spence in December. Um, we talked about what Errol Spence said about Terrence Crawford. You go check out that interview I left in the link with Correa Car- Car- BTA Boxing. And, you know, in the interview, what I didn't get to in that video because it, it really wasn't relevant, what we was talking about is about Crawford and Errol Spence going back and forth with subliminals. Where Earl Spence killed the subliminal about just telling him what he needed to do to catch that fade. Check that video out as well. Um, but, but what's going on here is that Lamont Peterson uh, and Luis Colazzo were the two front runners for, you know, Earl Spence. It was Luis Colazzo originally. He was about to be fighting Danny or Earl Spence. He ended up injuring himself. So it kind of delayed Danny plans. Um, and it was good for Earl Spence because it could have counted as a mandatory while Carlos Ucampo and Constantine Pullman figured out who was the number one contender. So it could have gave Earl Spence some more wiggling room uh, in a division to make shit happen. But um, apparently, you know, Danny Garcia didn't step up. When Danny Garcia entered negotiations with whoever he with, which I believe is Rios, Sean Porter went on and went his own separate way. He's taking on um, Adrian uh, Granados. I called him Granados. I don't give a shit. Um, he got to earn his name on this one. He got to beat somebody. Um, but now Earl Spence is left in, uh, in the pickle. And in an interview, he said he'd be fighting somebody that's in the top five for, for sure, for sure. And uh, King Pete fits that bill. Now, Thomas William Jr., who's a premier boxing champions fighter, who you know got knocked out by uh, Donna Stevenson, said that, hit it on Twitter, Twitter that uh, uh, Peterson will be ta- will having a big fight in December. He said, you heard it here first. I can't tell you who. Earl Smith said in an interview, I said, he got a big fight that's going to be happening in, in December. He said, I can't tell you who, who. And he has a Fox date that I don't know if still valid because his Fox date is supposed to fall in a September, October area. Sounds like Peterson going to be taking the moon in December. So we're going to get Earl Smith versus Peterson. And I thought that Peterson versus Keith Thurman would have been a great fight for Peterson because Peterson does great body work and, you know, potentially with a Keith Thurman comeback. But, um, like Peterson, I'll step up to the plate and fight Earl Spence. So, uh, the thing about that is, uh, you know, he turned down the Earl Smith fight before. Uh, it was for the number one mandatory, um, to Kale Brooks' belt. He said, hell no. Nah. And then somebody else turned it down, forget, to fight Earl Spence. They said, hell no. Nah. So it got down to Leonard Bundini Bundu and Earl Spence. So now there's a title on the line. And technically, this is a unification bout because Lamar Peterson has the WBA regular title. And obviously, Earl Spence has the IBF title. So um, that's something to look out for as well. Um, as far as the fight goes, um, you know, Lamar Peterson will be slaughtered and knocked out probably. Um, he's he's going to have to sit down with Barry Hunter and uh, look at the film and find out what the weakness is, what Earl Smith is. Um, he can box, but can he? I mean, he's just not physically strong enough and punch hard enough to keep up with Earl Smith, not even for the longer period that Kell Brook was able to do it. Um, but, you know, his strength is, is pretty much Earl Smith's strength. is fighting on the inside. Um, but he can box as well, um, be very disciplined. Um, I don't know, it's going to be tough for Lamont Peterson. He must really didn't have no other route to go um, because he only wants to fight four more times. I think it's down to three or four more times. Um, so he's on his one foot in the door. He almost got his foot, other foot out the door. So, um, this is a big opportunity for him. I'd love to see a Danny Garcia rematch or him fight Sean Porter. Him and Sean Porter would have been an ideal fight if Sean didn't fight Earl Spence. But, uh, you know, if, if this is true, props to Lamont Peterson stepping up the pay, plate and handling Keith Thurman's uh, responsibility right now. And, um, hopefully, you know, he does well and he doesn't get injured too bad neither one. And the winner and loser, and loser go on and uh, continue their careers. Um, but I'm waiting for I'm waiting for Earl Spence, Keith Thurman, man. Uh, I'm waiting for that fight. Um, Keith Thurman, on, you know, he's chilling on Napal, waiting for his wife to get her paperwork in to come over. 
to America legally. Um, so we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait. I'll take Lamont, Earl Spence, December. Hopefully it's a Fox day because that's a fight that deserves to be on Fox. Um, and you know they can bang it out like Warriors. You know would I be surprised if Lamont won a little bit? But I'd be happy for Lamont. I like Lamont. He's a good guy. Earl Spence is a good guy as well. Hopefully this is true. Best man win. We gone.